بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ دا فرسٹ لرننگ پیتھ پریپیئر دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک چوز بٹوین ڈائریکٹ کوئری امپورٹ اینڈ ڈیول موڈ وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن گیٹ ڈیٹا فرام ڈیٹا سورسز ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ہیڈ اے ڈیٹیل لک ایٹ سم آف دا آپشنز ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا ٹیبلز اینڈ کالمز ان سائڈ دا ڈیٹا ویو اور دا ٹیبل ویو آف پاور بی آئی ڈیسک ٹاپ اینڈ دیئر آئی ہائیلائٹیڈ اے پوائنٹ دیٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹیبل اسٹوریج موڈ سو وی آر ان ٹو دس ٹیبل اسٹوریج موڈ ٹاپک ڈائریکٹ کیوری امپورٹ اینڈ ڈیول موڈ سو دا پرپز آف ڈیلئنگ دس پرٹیکولر ٹاپک واز دیٹ آئی وانٹیڈ دیٹ یو انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ آر سم آف دا آپشنز ریلیٹڈ ٹو ڈیٹا ماڈلنگ اینڈ ناؤ ونس یو ہیو انڈرسٹوڈ ہاؤ وی ڈو دا ڈیٹا ماڈلنگ اینڈ ہاؤ دا ڈیٹا از لوڈیڈ فرام پاور power query editor into the power bi desktop environment now we can go back and look at the table storage modes which are a very important topic and a consideration at the time of connectivity as well so uh, i am going to uh, take a deep dive into this topic so we are going to discuss all of uh, the three uh, table storage modes shown here but first we are going to connect to a database so remember we connected to an sql server database and there we had this option of choosing between import and direct query so we are going to revisit the same topic again so i'm going to open a new file in power bi desktop and i'm going to connect to the same adventure works dw 2019 database and now i am going to use direct query uh, instead of the import mode and then we are going to take this topic from there so let's go to power query editor so i am inside the power query editor and i have connected to my sql server database and here you can see that i have given the address of my sql server be uh, hosted on my computer and now here this was the part that i was referring to and this is the data connectivity mode so instead of connecting to the import mode i am going to connect to the direct query mode here and once i connect to this direct query mode and bring in the tables then i am going to explain in detail what is the difference between the import mode and direct query mode so first of all just let me connect to this um, direct query mode to the database so after a few seconds i can see that all the databases which are inside my sql server uh, instance on my computer have been Uh, have been shown here so i am going to import a few tables uh, inside the power query now so i am going to first select dim customer then i am going to click on dim date then i am going to click on dim employee then i am going to click on dim product then dim product category then dim product subcategory then i am going to click on dim sales territory and then i am going to bring in the fact internet sales so now you all uh, already understand what is data modeling you already have seen we have seen two examples where we uh, have seen the data modeling the what are the dim facts table and what what are the dimension table so here the name uh, actually clarifies that what is the type of the table so i am not going to go and explain that dim and fact part here so i am just going to click on okay and i am going to bring all these tables into the power query editor so here you can see that now i have these eight queries which are seven dimension tables and one fact table inside the power query editor i am not going to do anything inside the power query editor and i am just going to click on close and apply and i am going to take this into the power bi desktop environment now the table tables have been brought successfully into the power bi desktop environment and you can see that the tables are there in the data view but there is one thing which is different which we did not see in all the previous examples that we have done so far uh, whether that was the superstore example or whether that was the maven market example and that is if you go on the left side here inside the power bi desktop environment there is no data view so all you are seeing here is the report view and the model view and the data view or the table view which is uh, which which is the name given to it very recently that view is not available here so this is the first very clear difference that you see once i have connected to a database using the direct query connectivity mode one other change that you must have noticed is that towards the bottom of the screen 
in the center or towards the right part, you are also seeing something storage mode, direct query, click to change. So this wasn't there once we were connecting to our CSV files inside the Superstore example and inside the Maven market example. So now let's go and have a look at the model view first and then go to the area where we last time saw the table storage mode settings and then I'm going to take you to the slide deck and I'm going to explain to you what is the difference between the direct query mode and the table storage mode. So I have come to the area where we saw this for the first time in the last video and this is within the advanced setting which says storage mode and I have selected the dim customer table here. So if I just expand this option here now it is showing me two more options which is import and dual and remember from the last video once we were looking at the Maven market example we only could see the import mode option there and we could not see the other two options there. So now let's go and spend some time seeing what are these storage modes and why are these important. So in order to understand what are import direct and and uh, dual storage modes let's let's go back one step and let's look at the connectivity mode first. So this is the mode that is offered to you once you are connecting to a data source inside the Power Query Editor. The default storage, the default connectivity mode for all the data sources is the import connectivity mode. So most of the data sources that we have seen so far, like we have seen SQL, uh, like we have seen the CSV files, like we have seen the Excel files, like we have seen the JSON files. So all these data sources just have the import mode as the only option available inside the Power Query Editor. You cannot connect to a, say, to a CSV file in, a, in direct query or in a live connection mode. Then there are certain data sources where you have in addition to the import mode, you also have the direct query mode. So all the relational databases or at least uh, most of the databases that you are going to see inside the Power Query Editor, they allow you to connect to the data source in another mode, which is the direct query mode. Like we are seeing in this example, in this video, we have connected to the SQL Server database using the direct query mode. Then there is another connectivity mode, which is just available for the analysis services data sources. So there are two types of analysis services data sources, SQL Server Analysis Services and Azure Analysis Services. I'm not going to go into the details of analysis services in this video, but just remember that there are two types of data sources. One is called the SQL Server Analysis Services or SSAS or the Azure Analysis Service, which is called as AAS. These data sources give you the option to connect through live connection. So these are the two data sources. Then there is another thing that we will explore once we are into the Power BI service is that once you have done your development work inside of Power BI and you publish your Power BI report into the Power BI service, then a data set is created. A data set is created inside the Power BI service and you can also connect to the data set, that particular data set through the live connection. So either it has to be an analysis services data source or the Power BI data set which you can connect to in the live connectivity mode. We are going to explore this live connectivity mode in the last learning path which is the fourth learning path. So once you connect to the data source in the import connectivity mode and once you have done the ETL processes inside the Power Query Editor, you simply press load and this, and this uh, query or these queries are loaded inside the Power BI environment. So now here we are inside the Power BI desktop environment. This was the Power Query Editor. Similarly for direct query, if you have connected like we have connected in this example and now we have loaded and now we have the uh, queries loaded in the Power BI environment. So now here is the here is the part where we can go and we look at the table storage mode. So here we have 
direct query and import and here you are also seeing something which is inside this box which is actually representing another thing which is called as the composite model or a mixed model so remember that once we bring the tables inside the power uh, power bi environment inside the model view we are actually building a data model so if you have queries which are coming from two different type of connectivity modes. So if you have few tables which are coming from import and at least one table which is coming from a direct query data source then the model that you get is called as the composite model. And whenever you are going to bring in a direct query based table then you have the option to change the table storage mode. Now, so now here, once we are inside the Power BI desktop environment, we are talking about the table storage mode. So now you can change the table storage mode to either import, keep it as direct query, or you can also change it to dual, like the option we have just seen in the example that we are doing, that we selected one table, dim customers, and it asked me that, okay, do you want to keep it in the direct query? You want to change it into import or you are going to change it into the dual. So these are the three table storage modes which are available inside the Power BI desktop environment inside the model view, but it is only available for the direct query. If you have brought a query from the Power Query Editor in the import mode, then the default table storage mode is also import. So just remember this, that this option is available only for direct query. And if you change the table storage mode, like we are going to do in a, in a few minutes, then the data model that we are going to build is going to be a composite or a mixed uh, model. So I'm going to finish this video here. This is the part one of this video. And in this video, we just connected to an SQL server database through the direct query mode and we brought in a few dimensions and a fact table inside the Power uh, BI environment. From the Power Query Editor, we connected in the direct query mode and we brought all the queries inside the Power BI data model view. And we saw that the data view is not available inside the Power BI environment. That is the first thing that we saw. And the other thing that we saw was that the dim customers query once selected then the table storage mode gave the options for import, direct query and dual. So in the next part, we are going to see what are the three uh, data storage modes. What is the difference between the three data storage modes? Why we should go for one or we should not go for, for, for one? What are the considerations for that? And then we are going to actually build a composite model. And then we are going to have a look at what are some of the features of that composite model. So that's all for this video and I'm going to see you in the next part of the same video.